afternoon. People's been missing me right and left. <laughs> I'm not far. <laughs> I didn't make a video yesterday. I made one for Saturday about us going to the Cover Bridge Festival. We went to Bridgeton on um, Saturday and then we went to Mansfield on Sunday. It was a lot of fun. It was wet and cold and there's just so much to look at. It's almost overwhelming. I mean, it's like my attention span's about that big. And I get to walking and I look down an aisle and I'm like, oh, I can't look at all, all this. I don't have time. I mean, I don't know how much long I've got to live to, to look at all this crap. But we did get some great finds. I got probably more hats than what I need. I only have one little head and I can't wear them all at the same time. But my attraction to hats is like some people's attractions to coats or shoes or purses. I love hats. I can only do two things with my hair and that's comb it or not comb it. And to me, this, I just combed it. See, there you have it. But if I wear a hat, it changes everything, changes it all up. <laughs> and that very first day we get there, and as much as I don't like porta potties, I mean, I'm grateful that I do have a pot to piss in, or worse. But I just really don't like them. I mean, I about make myself sick. Like, oh, I just about got it. I said, I told Cindy yesterday, I said, I'm working up a pee. I don't want to be working up a pee. I don't want to go to the bathroom. But I did and uh, found some really clean, nice bathrooms, like real toilets that really flush and the lid really goes down on them. But the first day we're there and we just walk up and Cindy's like, well, you wanna pee, go to the bathroom before we get started? I'm like, I guess so, because I'm gonna dread it <sighs> until I do. I get in there, couldn't believe my eyes, <laughs> did not wanna look down. And when I went in, the lady that came out in front of me had shut the lid, I'm like, God, please now i've got to touch it i was about to gross out but i see why she closed the lid because i called that porta pot nemo because just a few more rounds of people going in there it was going to touch the butt you know like he did on the boat he just went out there and touched the butt well it was that close and i just didn't like it that close to my ass i just i came out of there and i'm like oh. so he's like what's the matter i said that's it's just not far from touching somebody's asshole. That just grosses me out. <laughs> then yesterday, before we found the really nice bathrooms, we went to the porta pot and I go in there, I was <laughs> I so disgusted with people. I just want to start, I just want to, well, sassy, my gosh. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to grab somebody and shake them till they stop moving. I mean, I get in there, there's a turd on the floor. I'm like, really? Yeah, it's raining. Nobody wants to sit on the porta pot. But now, not only do I have to sit in this, be in this nasty area, but I have to dodge poop on the floor. I was so pissed off. I just, I come out of there. I'm just, I just shake my head. She just laughs. She laughs because I can't really take it. It's, it's like, oh my God, I need to take a Xanax or a Zoloft or a shot of something to even go pee. You see me now? <laughs> I lived. I lived. My butt's fine. I'm fine. I got my own bathroom. We'll be out somewhere. So then it be like, you got that look on your face. What's the matter? I said, I'm working up a poop. I think we need to go home. She said, you get in there. You go to the bathroom because it's natural and everybody does it. And just suck it up, buttercup. Go in there and go to the bathroom. I'm always like, no. If it's more than just a twinkle, I just take me home. Take me home, country roads. <laughs> We picked up some great finds. I mean, you can't hardly shop without thinking of like my mom and the Rolos and, and Brandy and and my mom's friend Di and Christmas and you know it's just you just light up and and every time you see an NFL shop, everybody that you know that watches football, it's like there's Steelers stuff, there's Dolphins stuff, there's Viking stuff, there's Colts stuff, there's Cowboys stuff. It's like we all need one of each. But you know what? We can't afford it. I told Cindy, we talk about it all the time. We need to win the lottery. We got so much shit we need to buy for people. 
And then we got babies in the group. So then you got, oh my God, all these people. You got, you know, Rachel and Matt, and you got the Fox Worthies, and you got, you know, Tanya Sawyer, and you got babies. We got babies coming everywhere. You got a Kim Shannon's grandbaby. You got all kinds of babies. It's like, oh, they need one of those. They need one of those. We need to buy that and then just have a playground with all the kids coming over and playing. And then we're like, no. No, we have dogs. We don't need a playground for babies. Then you find something so damn cute that we would like to play with it. So then it's like, we look at each other like, um, we don't have children, and we're too old to have children, and it might entertain our mind for like a second and a half. Then we look at the other one and we're like, don't even think about it. We're not having kids this late in the game. But it's a good thought. I mean, it sounds fun, but it's like, no, we need cheat parts. We can't send kids to college and go to school and buy and, and school clothes. We need cheap parts. <laughs> and I love large quantities of stuff. I get Twitter painted, you know, when I see like like the bamboo utensils. It's like they'll have them, they'll be like, oh, here's this and this, and they'll have, they'll have a whole shit ton of them. And I just light up and they'll be like, and you can get this many for this much. And I'm like, I need them all. I need them all. Miss, no, I can only cook with one utensil at a time. I don't need them all. But I get excited, too, when I watch infomercials. I don't know why. They can be saying, you know, you only have this much time left and this much money and this, you know, it, it, it was a $1,500 uh, item and we now have it down for $122. It's like, just stop already. But then when you look down and the little ticker's counting, I don't have anxiety. It's like, oh my God, I need to call somebody because I only have seven minutes and 22 seconds left and it's just killing me. I got to, I got a call. So anyway, there you have it. That's what our weekend was like. I mean, it was, it was so much fun. I'm kind of glad it's over with. But then when I, we're not going back, it's like, you know what I really wish that we had got now? Well, it's a little late now, but... It does. It burns a hole in my mind. I'm like, oh, we should have got those. But I don't think we're, I'm not, I don't think I want to take a chance in having to use a porta pot again and getting in Nemo. <laughs> not to mention Cindy and I had so much fun together. We had fun together for in a crowd. Oh, if it's just the two of us, then we was kind of dressed alike. So every time we go there, and everybody, whether they was, you know, from around here or not, or be like, you sisters? And we're like, no, but you're close. <laughs> I said we're best of friends, but we're close. But we had so much fun. I love being with her. She puts up with my I overload, you know, my porta potto overload. And my, you know, I'm short. And when I'm in a crowd like that, all I see is belt buckles and assholes. And that's no fun most of the time. <laughs> So I'm going to let you go for now. I got some stuff I need to do. I got to work tonight. I got some errands to run. But anyway, I just want to touch base with you and tell you that I miss talking to you too. And uh, hopefully I'll get another one out for you tomorrow. I know people miss me and they start putting on my Facebook, Bobby, Bobby. It's like, well, I, I got other things I need to be doing. I love making these videos though. It's a good time. Anyway. I'll talk to you guys sometime tomorrow. I love you. Hope you have a good rest of the day. And uh, you behave yourselves. And we'll talk sometime tomorrow. We'll see ya. <laughs> Bye.